This all started when I was pregnant with my second son. I was in my very last month of pregnancy. And my older son, who was nine years old, had a friend come over from school one day to play. And when the mother came to pick him up, she brought with her a younger sibling. And the younger sibling was coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing, and then gave a characteristic whoop. A week later, I came down with upper respiratory symptoms and a very, very persistent cough. And sure enough, at the end of my cough was that very classic whoop. Pertussis is usually spread when a person with this disease coughs near another person. Pertussis typically starts with cold symptoms, such as runny nose, sneezing, and some cough, and often a low-grade fever. It is also during this time that, before the disease is recognized, that the disease can become contagious and be spread from person to person. Even though it had lasted a while, I still thought, you know, I wasn't going to get pertussis. It just, you know, wasn't something I'd heard of before. I didn't get tested. I didn't do anything with it. I just continued to cough. I had Nicholas, which was in February, and Nicholas began coughing. It was very difficult, you know, with um, Nicholas being sick, and I was coughing, and with the both of us, we hardly slept. I couldn't even remember what it was like not to cough, you know, and not to be up at night. Besides Nicholas, the illness spread to my mother. She was in the hospital during the three days that um, Nicholas and I were there because my husband was working, so she basically stayed there with us, and she began coughing a lot. She couldn't sleep, had to sit up to sleep. My son was born on, on August 3rd, 2005. He started getting a little bit of cold symptoms. Uh, he started coughing quite a bit, so I ended up taking him to the pediatrician. And my pediatrician said, it's just a cold, no big deal. We'll give him some medicine and we'll see how uh, he does. He then wasn't getting better. Uh, he started coughing quite a bit and spiked a fever. There was a physician that had just come from Wisconsin, and there was an outbreak of pertussis in Wisconsin that summer. So he had just diagnosed hundreds of cases of pertussis. When he took one look at my son, he said, I know your son has pertussis. Studies have shown that when the source for an infant's pertussis could be identified, about three quarters of the time, it was passed from a household family member. Jeffrey caught pertussis from me when he was about a month old. Prior to that, he was perfectly healthy. We were one big happy family, two older sons and a new baby at home. Everything was great. All of a sudden, he's sick with a potentially fatal disease. I knew that my other boys had been immunized for everything, but I really didn't know what pertussis was, and I especially didn't know that an adult could catch it and transmit it to someone who wasn't immunized. Almost everyone is immunized against pertussis as children or as infants. Pertussis is beginning to come back now because immunizations that occurred as infants are now wearing off in about six to 10 years. So it's now recommended that all adolescents and adults receive an immunization with a new vaccine so that there'll be less chance of spreading that infection to babies who are not completely immunized.
the cough alarmed me because it was continuous and it was not just a, a couple coughs and then he would stop. The cough would be followed by, you know, gasping or kind of choking, you know, like he wasn't getting enough air. And I called my son's pediatrician and he heard Nicholas coughing over the phone. And as soon as he heard him coughing, he said, just take him straight to the hospital. He would cough 30, 40 plus times. Um, then he'd have his whoop. He would throw up and he'd turn blue and clearly be in respiratory distress. And it was clear to me that this could have been fatal had we not gotten him treatment right away. Jeffrey's symptoms were so severe that we literally thought that he was going to die. So I had a friend drive me and Jeffrey to the hospital while my husband stayed home consoling my two other sons, not having any idea what was truly wrong with Jeffrey, but all knowing full well that we thought this one-month-old baby was going to die, their little brother was probably not coming home the next day. There were two nights when we were uh, in the hospital uh, that we really weren't sure if he was actually going to make it through the night. I was the one who actually gave my son pertussis. And psychologically, it was extremely difficult to know that I myself not only put my son through this, but I also put my husband through this. I think that one of the most compelling and heart-wrenching moments of my life is realizing that I had a disease, pertussis, that was preventable, and that I turned around and passed it on to my own brand newborn baby the moment I kissed him. And he almost died from this disease. There are moments that even now I still wake up at night and have a hard time forgiving myself for that. It's very important for adults to receive this vaccine for two reasons. First, the disease can be prolonged and uncomfortable and associated with complications in young adults and adolescents. And by getting the vaccine, you'll avoid that possibility. Secondly, if adults are immunized, they're less likely to spread the infection to others in the population, particularly young infants who may have high risks of both complications and even death. I couldn't even remember what it was like not to cough, you know, and not to be up at night. My family and I were vaccinated. Even after we were treated with the antibiotics, we wanted to make sure that we weren't going to go through this ever again. Help protect your baby by protecting yourself. Ask your healthcare professional about the Tdap vaccine. Take two steps to protect your baby against pertussis. One, get yourself, family members, and others who may have contact with your baby vaccinated with the Tdap booster. Two, be sure to have your baby vaccinated on time with all of the recommended vaccines. Talk with your doctor about the importance of protecting yourself and your family against pertussis.